So today, guys, the vlog is coming from Crowy Head. Um, really, really pleased that I managed to get back down here. Was here um, a couple of weeks ago. Conditions were was blowing a gale, really dull skies, but as you can see, light is absolutely fantastic. It's about an hour before sunset, and I've just ventured down off the, the cliff top to try and get a slightly lower viewpoint on this really, really stunning section of cliffs. So yeah, game on. So yeah, Crowy Head, uh, as you can see behind me, if I just move that away, massive big sea arch. Um, have made it down to the bottom. Uh, there was, I was told that you could get down here, but the last day I was here, just couldn't see any way down, but there is a very, very rough path, but there is a path down from the cliff right down to the water's edge. Now tide is out, or sorry, tide is in. So I've literally only got a tiny, tiny, tiny bit to work with down at the water's edge, which I don't even know whether I'm bother, gonna bother going down because the sun's just in the wrong place at the minute for this particular shot. But yeah, anybody, Donegal, wants somewhere epic to shoot, definitely come to Crow Ahead. Absolutely amazing. So the light here at the minute is absolutely amazing. Getting some just beautiful, beautiful light hitting the cliffs. You can just about make that out behind me there. Um, at the minute, my exposure time is six seconds. Um, shooting at F11, ISO 100. Um, on the front of the lens, I have the Format High Tech filter system. So I have their circular polarizer. I have their Firecrest, the six stop ND filter, and I also have their 0.9 soft edge ND grad. I have it at a slight angle, just because of the, the, the shape and line of the, of the cliff face, just to make sure I'm not darkening the cliff face too much. And I'll just show you very, very quickly the kind of shot that we're getting here. So this is what we're getting here. Six seconds, F11. ISO 100. So composition pretty much speaks for itself here. Just using the bend of the cliff line and the rock face, just to lead the eye towards the really dramatic looking cliffs in the distance. Behind that is the island of Arran Moor as well. And we've got some really lovely dark, moody skies as well, which is just exactly the conditions that I love to, to shoot in. So happy days. So I'm just heading back to the other side of the headland here, just to try and get into some sort of position where I can actually shoot the massive big sea arch that is down behind me over there. Um, some really nice light again hitting the, the headland and another sea arch on the other side. So just gonna go back round maybe stick 70 to 200 on, and just try and get something a little bit different. So I'm round, shooting back this way towards the, the actual sea arch, which is down there. Um, settings are fairly similar to what I've been shooting. Again, always F11, well, most of the time F11, ISO 100. I'm on an eight second exposure at the minute. On the front of the lens this time I have uh, the Format High Tech Circular Polarizer. So it's cutting out glare off the water, just giving the colors a little bit of a boost. Um, I've also got their Firecrest six stop ND filter, which is what's given me the longer exposure. And I've got their 1.2 ND grad, a soft edge ND grad, which is just keeping some of the detail in the sky. And what I'm actually doing, if I just show you the front, I've actually got it at an angle.
basically because of the line of the cliffs. Because the cliffs are running this way, and there's actually very little sky above them, um, it just makes sense to, to rotate the, the ND grad and just bring it in at an angle because the right hand side of the scene at the minute is the brightest because that's the side that the sun's on. So yeah, there's absolutely nothing to say that you have to keep your grads completely straight. Sometimes you have to improvise and a lot of that will actually depend on your composition. So I guess really this is one of those places where you can be absolutely spoilt for choice and you can kind of run about kind of a little bit crazy just firing off shots here, there and everywhere and not really taking time to actually um, kind of think about the composition um, and I guess that's one of the things about photography especially landscape photography just sometimes you have to slow down and actually just take a little bit of time just compose the shot and then basically just wait and just wait on the light and wait on the sun and wait on the waves, see what they're doing, maybe try and time your exposure um, depending on what kind of effect or whatever you want with with the waves. And I think I'm, that's what I'm just going to do here, I'm just going to wait. The, the sky looks pretty promising to be honest. Um, there's a little bit of a bank of cloud just at the horizon but I'm hoping that the sun might still get through. Um, we've had some really, really beautiful light so far. It's really lovely and soft and diffused at the minute, so um, might just grab another exposure from here and then just head back round, get any position for sunset and yeah, pretty, pretty much just wait it out and see how we get on. Just moved round. Sun is set, uh, just waiting on a little bit of colour. This is the view we're looking towards. So we're hitting about a four or five second exposure, uh, F11, ISO 50. And yeah, a little bit of colour just beginning to appear in the sky behind me, which should hopefully work in really well. On the front, we've got the Format High Tech Circular Polarizer and also a 0.9 Hard Edge Grad as well, which is just holding back the detail in the sky really nicely. So, just going to see what this guy is trying to do. I think we're actually going to get a little bit of colour here. <laughs> 